For this assignment, you'll be using painting to complete the worksheet, and you'll need the following materials. White, black, and one chosen hue of paint. A mixing palette or disposable plate. A cup of water and paper towels. And a paintbrush. Before you start painting, you need to answer the questions 1 through 4. Let's get started. Before you work on this worksheet, I want you to answer numbers one through four. So the first one, it asks you what a hue plus white is. And if you've watched the, the um, introductory video on color, you'll know that hue plus white is tint. Then hue plus gray, again, that would be tone. A tone of a color. That's the intensity, the dullness of a color. And last, hue plus black is going to equal shade. And then for number four, you're going to choose a hue. Now, if you're working with the art pack that I've given you, uh, you'll see that you have an array of colors to choose from. You'll also need the little mixing tray for this worksheet. And then a um, a um, paintbrush, and you'll need some water. All right, so you're just going to choose a color. Any of the colors you can choose. You can't use black, you can't use white, because obviously that's tint and uh, shade and tone. So you're gonna choose one of, of the six colors here. And for mine, I'm going to choose blue. So for four, I would write blue. If you're going to use another color, just write uh, the color you use. Make sure you fill these in before you start painting on your worksheets. Now, the printed worksheets I, I created, you can barely um, see or make out anything that's written inside these circles. The printer didn't do the best job. But what you'll have is this middle circle is your hue, H-U-E, so your chosen color. So that would be whatever you write for number four. Mine is blue. I would be painting this middle circle blue. For the outside circles, you'll be needing your mixing tray or something to mix uh, your paints on because you're going to have to create these. So the top one is the tint. It says mix your chosen hue plus what to get a tint. If you look up here, number one tells you a hue plus white is going to equal a tint. So here we mix uh, our chosen color plus white. On the left-hand side, we have a tone, mixing your chosen hue with what to get a tone. We know to, in order to get a tone, we have to use gray. We don't have gray as a color choice over here. So in order to make gray, you have to mix black and white to make gray, and then you would mix it with your chosen hue. And lastly, you have shade over on the right-hand side. Mix your chosen hue with what to get shade. Looking over here at number three, hue plus black equals shade. So, so open up your little paint pots and you really don't need to lay out paint. You actually, for some of them, you don't need to use the mixing tray. So don't feel like you have to use that mixing tray for everything. And when you get paint on your paintbrush, uh, you don't need to load the entire paintbrush with this paint. Now this paint is tempered paint, uh, so it's not going to you know, stain your clothes. Of course, if you have something white on, it will um, you know, not come out, but it is, it's basically chalk, um, so it will come off of tables, and you don't need to really worry about that kind of stuff. Clothing, if you're wearing something light, it might stain it a bit, but it will mostly come out. It is a washable paint. If you are working with an acrylic paint, I would suggest having something uh, at least protecting the table or if you have you know, a nice outfit on, maybe changing out of that because acrylic has plastic in it and once it dries, it's pretty much you know, stuck on there. Unless it's on your skin, it will come off. All right, so take your time. I wanna see that you are taking your time. You're not just splashing this color on here. Really take your time and do this properly. So that first one, that middle one, is your chosen hue. Now to work on the three exterior parts, you're going to want to open up that black and that white. And we're going to be mixing them. 
So use that little tray that I have provided some of you. If you don't have that, you can use a paper plate or um, a styrofoam plate, something that's disposable uh, that you can get rid of. Do not mix these colors on the paper. Um, that's just, I can tell when you've done that, and it just doesn't look very nice. I really want you to mix these. So we're going to start off with our, our tin. And I don't really want to dirty my um, cup, so I'm going to rinse my brush and the water, try to get off the majority of that color first because I'm going to get my white out. So, you know, try not to dirty these too much. I'm going to wipe that off on my brush. Cool thing about tempered paint um, is that you don't really need to um, worry about it, you know, ruining your brushes. The cool thing about it is, again, it can be it can become wet again. If it dries, it will not ruin the brush. If you are working with acrylic paint, um, you know, if don't leave that brush just sitting there with paint on it, it will ruin it. So a good, um, you know, rule of thumb is always rinse your brush in between applications of colors. That way you don't contaminate or dirty um, your main sources. And then we're going to mix our color. Now I'm using blue and it's a, it's a more um, intense color. So I don't really need a lot of it. Um, you know, I'm just going to get me a nice little scoop on here about that size. And you can already see I've already added my white here. I'm going to add it on top. We don't need to dump the whole thing of paint in here to mix a color. We're just filling a small space in here. So I've literally taken two little scoops of paint and I'm going to mix those together and we're going to get a nice light value. Now if you don't get enough of that white paint, you can always go back and grab a little bit more if you don't think it's a, a light enough value. Okay, but we're going to do that. I'm going to teach you something. So here we go, and now we have enough for our tint, and we're just going to fill this space in. This is our mix of white and blue. I might have maybe needed to mix a little bit more of this in there. It's going to be okay. I don't need to overload the paper. And if you don't have enough, we'll have to make some. I'm obviously going to have to probably do that. I might be able to make it. I do it. All right. So I'm going to come over here and get a little bit rinse my brush because I don't want to contaminate that white. Get a good scoop of white. Get a little bit of blue. And finish this up. And now let's go on to shade. So I'm going to rinse my brush really good. And shade we know is when you take the color that you chose, your chosen hue, and mix it with black. So I'm going to take my uh, black paint, give me a good scoop of black paint. And then I'm going to get my blue. Black is very dominating, uh, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue in there than I have black, and then I'm going to mix these together. I might have put a little bit too much black in there. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more blue. I put a little bit too much black. Give me another good scoop of blue. That looks a lot better. 
No, I'm going to use that black and that blue and add them over here to the shade. All right, and our last one. So what we are actually gonna do is pretty much just mix these two together. Um, I obviously need more of, of, of it. You can sit there and make it gray first. So um, you know that's what I'm gonna do. So in order to make a gray tone, uh, we're going to mix white with black. Now remember, I just told you guys that uh, black is very dominating, so we really don't need a lot of it. Uh, in fact, when I took the paint, I took a little bit too much. So I'm going to get some black in here. I'm putting it, if you notice, on the edge because I don't necessarily have to take all of that paint. Rinsing off my brush because I'm going to get white next. I'm going to get a good amount of white. Notice as I'm not mixing them yet. And I got a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. And we're going to mix these together. Make us a nice gray tone. See how much black I'm kind of leaving up there on the border? I'll probably mix a little bit more. I under mix. I don't make enough for the circle. Put a little bit more black in there. That looks in like a nice gray value. And now I'm gonna go in and get some blue. So I'm gonna kind of rinse off my brush a little bit and get a good old amount of blue. And now I'm gonna mix these together. And there we go. We've got a tone, a very dull uh, color. Take your time when you're painting these circles. And voila, there we go, tint, tone, and shade.